Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about displacement for the textures. Okay, so then you get something like this. So, how does it work? Let's start with a new scene. So, okay. First, you need an object with a UV map. So, something like this. And here in the MISC menu, you can unwrap your UV map here, or you can use here in the Add Primitive section, there's a, a checkbox for Keep Primitive UVs. When you add a box or a sphere, um, the primitives have um, a nice UV. So. But cylinder doesn't work, torus, I think only box and sphere work. So, okay, we have our UV map. And the next thing is, we place a texture on this object. So, I import something like this. So, we can change the, the scaling a little bit, like you want. And the next thing is here in the opacity slot, we need the height map. It works only with the opacity slot here, nothing else works. So here open the photos and import the height map. Okay, so the next step is this texture here, the color texture, deleted. We only need the, at the moment this opacity map. Okay, the next thing is here add a layer. Add a layer for this object. And now we need more topology. Here, multi-resolution, we have now um, about 100,000 vertices. We need more. Let's um, yeah, use 1.5 million. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So then go to the MISC menu and you find here the reproject option for vertex. And here in the settings, you can change it to only color, nothing else. So then you can reproject from itself. So that's it. The next step is we don't need the opacity map anymore. So we can delete it. And we can now bring back our color texture. The scaling isn't changed. It's okay, um, like, the tech, like the scaling of the opacity map. The next step is we add a new layer. And this is the, the color layer. And this layer here is the mask layer. Okay, so we go back to our color layer and reproject again the color. So now we have here in the texture, texture slots nothing. And this is only um, vertex paint. So, yes. The next step is here in the mask menu, there are three dots here. And in the, here in the color slot, there's a mask option. Press it, press it. So now 
the opacity mask is the the mask this is what is now active so it's a little bit complicated <laughs> so you can now uh, use your gizmo and when you use now the outer ring you can here bring your displacement in position okay now on the object is the mask active and we can clear the mask and this is what you get so it's also possible to to change here the the roughness a little bit or the metalness and paint it so why does it ah we need a new layer and or we can use it on this layer i think yeah don't mix the layers up so <laughs> yeah this is the displacement and you can use it on every object with a uv map so i think it's a nice result so that's it have fun with sculpting ciao